Today we're learning how to make this beautiful San Francisco inspired PowerPoint presentation all the way from scratch in PowerPoint. Let's start from a blank slide and we're going to add the background picture. I got this one from unsplash.com and if you don't want the white edges, you can either use the designer function, which you can toggle on and off here. And that will most of the time give you a full fill effect. You can also right click crop to adjust the sizes and to adjust the positioning. In our case, we want to have the Golden Gate Bridge at the right side of the slide. So we're going to hold control and zoom back out or zoom backwards, drag the corner and then position the image down a little bit. So it's about in the center of the right half of the slide. That is the final look that we want. Now we're going to do shapes and we're going to insert a rectangle and we want that rectangle to cover about half of the slide. Remove outlines and we're going to make it white. And now we're going to add a text box on top where we're adding the word San Francisco. It's quite a long word, so you can easily split it up in three parts. For the font, we're going for Pebas Noia. And it can be quite a large font, so let's try maybe 250. It might be a little bit too big. Center it, position it to the top. Maybe make it one step smaller. Let's type 235. Hold control and shift to create a copy. Here we type in friend. Reduce the font size until the edges meet. So this is too small. 196 is too big. So let's go for 185 maybe. 180. And it's going to be one smaller. So 178 will fit a lot better. And this way it nicely aligns on both sides. Copy that once more for the next word. Cisco, the last part. And also here we want to reduce the size so it matches. Let's try 170, 168. Maybe just a slightly little bit bigger, uh, smaller. There we go. That looks better. Perfect. Position them so they are evenly spaced. And then make sure they are nicely centered in the middle of your slide, equal sized to the top and the bottom and also left and right. If you want to modify this later on, you can always right click duplicate to create a copy. But in our case, we're going to select the rectangle first, hold shift while you select the other shapes, shape format, and we're going to subtract. Right click format shape. This so we've we've created a cutout of the words. Now we're going to the effect tab shadow and we're going to add a drop shadow to the top or from the top left to the bottom right. Increase the blur a little bit, reduce transparency. That way it jumps out a little bit more. My settings are about 44 transparency and nine points in blur. Now we want to go for the next slide and we're going to duplicate the slide. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drag out the San Francisco cutout that we've created. And we're also going to modify the background picture. So crop and we want to zoom out a little bit. So reduce the size and then position it again in the middle or so it, until it meets the edge. So the Golden Gate Bridge now comes a little bit more to the center and it's a little bit smaller. Now we want to add three circles on the slide. Hold shift to create a perfect circle. Make it white, remove the outlines, hold control shift and drag to create a copy and do that once more to have three perfect circles. Go to the insert tab, add an icon and we're going to add three icons. In our case, we're going for, or let's do one with sports. Let's choose one with baseball. Let's also go for a nature or park if they have it. That looks nice. And then a last one, maybe cycling. Let's add these three. We're going for outline icons. That always looks good. Hold shift while you select the three icons and we're going to give them a nice color fill. So right click format object fill and here you can see the gradient is grayed out and for that we're going to graphics format convert to shape and this opens up the option to add a gradient fill. I don't know why but it's a useful trick to know. Let's do linear and we're going to use the colors from the picture. So if you want more colors you can get this color picker 
and get the nice tint from the sky. And as a secondary color, we're going to do the same with more of an orange tint that we can get from the clouds. Once you're happy, we're going to group them together. So Control G. Hold Shift, select all three. And then let's also copy them to the first page. Select the first two, drag them a little bit lower and select the first one and drag that one to the bottom because we're going to add a morph transition later. This way we have the first slide created and now let's create a third slide. And here we're going to create a transition to the rest of your PowerPoint presentation. Solid white slide, we're going to copy the image and let's go to format picture, crop, crop the shape and we're going to make it a circle. And of course we want the aspect ratio to be one on one because we want a perfect circle. Reposition it so the bridge is in the center and press enter or click next to the picture. Reduce the size of your circle, position it on the right side of the page. And now we're going to add some text elements. So let's add a title, Golden Gate Bridge. For the font, we're also going to use Bibles Neue. Increase the font size around 50, make it bold. And we're going to use a nice gradient for the text. But the gradient can go from left to right. Now let's add some dummy text, the text box below. And add some dummy text. For the font, we're using Montserrat Extra Light. And the font size, let's put it at 12. Position both in the center between the image and the side. And now the slide, if you feel that it looks a little bit empty, you can always use a little trick. And for that, we're going to copy the title. Scroll backwards because we're going to make a pretty large text that covers almost the entire slide. Type in San Francisco and increase the font size until it almost crosses the border of your slide. And now we're going to do text options and reduce the transparency of both sides to about 99. This way it's very subtle in the background, maybe a little less transparent, 95, both sides, there we go. And this gives a little bit of an extra touch to your slide. Now let's add a circle to the slide, position it on top of the Golden Gate Bridge image. We're going to make it white, no outline, make it slightly bigger and send it to the back. Select the text, send this one to the back as well. And then we can see the image in the background and this gives quite a nice effect on the slide that makes the Golden Gate Bridge jump out a little bit more and the San Francisco title is slightly hidden in the background. Now let's add some transitions. And for this slide, we're going to add a push transition from the bottom or from the bottom upwards. And we're going to increase this duration to about one second 75. For the second slide, we're going to add morph and the duration can be around two. Now let's preview. And now you know how to make this beautiful San Francisco inspired PowerPoint presentation all the way from scratch, including the transitions and the slides connecting to your content. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to check this video on the screen right now.